Yeah. An update, I forgot to tell you too. <clears throat> we, she took his, so this check that she got, four hundred that she got from the, he got from the government, the stimulus check. She took it and spent it on me and everybody. And she didn't tell Steve because Steve was expecting to have three thousand dollars when he came out. And she also used. The house they're living in now, they own, that was renting them out. She also took the rental's money and spent it. <clears throat> and uh, that's what she does. And she, and she told me when she first met me, no lies, no excuses. What's her excuse? Well, her lie. She lied to Steve. She did tell him. That's no excuses. <clears throat> and she told me that I had to grow up and become a man. Well, I did. Uh, when I tell her I do something, I do it. She needs to grow up and become a woman because she keeps changing her mind like she does does now, all the time, She's like a little girl. She come up, grow up, and become responsible, like her daughters. Now they're more responsible than she is, and they're smarter than she is because they can see through Steve. No looking guy. He's never going to change. He's going to be a wife beater. And a, and he, everything else. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be there. Especially when everybody finds out he's he's a an informant. <clears throat> I don't know. But that's his freedom of speech. That's all this is, is freedom of speech. I'm just letting everybody know. His name is Steve W A R D. And they live in Overly. I think it's 204 Walnut, where he lives. It's in Overly. You can't miss it. <clears throat> but, uh, that's, that's about it. Thank you.